to do this job you have to make sure you get the correct tools make sure you get all the tools like this to do it okay if you don't have like this you can find from another company also but make sure you get all these uh, tools to do it because uh macbook have different different type of screw okay i'm coming to change this laptop lcd macbook pro okay i'm going to replace a new lcd for this one this one you have to very very uh, take your time to do it and you have to use the correct tools to open the laptop at the back okay the first thing you have to do you have to take out all those screws at the back of this laptop okay so many many screws make sure you take out all the screws the front screws are different it's not the same with the one at the back the one at the back is a bit long when you open it you see so it's very easy for you to know where to put them back okay make sure you take out all the four, the four screws at the front Take out the other two at the back here. Make sure you get the correct tools to do it. Don't use wrong tools to do it so you don't spoil the screw. And when you want to open it, you have to press the screwdriver very hard down to control it so you can open the screw without spoiling the screw. Okay. After you take out the screw, okay, you have to open from this side. Okay. You can when I mean, you put your finger by the speaker, so you sit up a bit. Okay, you hear the sound, make sure the sound come out so that the clip will come out because it has a clip also, they open here also. Okay, when you hear the sound like this, the clip already op open from the front. So when you want to open it now, you have to hold this one and slide it in the front because here to have another clip, slide it in the front like this. Okay, just slide it in the front. When you slide it like this, the clip will come out from the back. Okay, you don't, you don't just pull it like just slide it. Okay, open it okay after i open the laptop like this okay now the first thing you have to you have to disconnect the battery first make sure you get the correct tools for it okay iphone uh, macbook have different different type of screw so you have to make sure you get all the screws to open them don't find the wrong screw try to get the full set of the screw take out the battery first remove this big screw here okay put it one side just ace up this one a bit up so the battery will disconnect and remove disconnect this one also open it like this and use the clip up and remove this one also remove it like this so the battery will disconnect okay now you need to take out the lcd you have to remove most of the screws this side take out for take for you to take out the lcd okay you take out all the screws this side so take out the lcd so many many screws okay so the first thing you have to remove the connector first Make sure when you remove them, for you not to get confused, you put them exactly how you take them out, so it will be easy for you to fix back. Okay, you see when if you remove it like this, just make sure you put it close to it with a screw. At least you know that that two screws for that panel, they know where to put them back. It's more easy for you. Remove this one also. Put them here. So it will be more easy for you. Put them close to them. Each well, two of them, just put them close. So you, so you understand exactly where to put them back. Then you move the panel and put it close to the two screw you take out. Okay, this is the LCD connector. So the motherboard disconnect it. You push it like this. Okay. Now you need to remove all the connectors here. All the screws, you need to take them out. So you can remove this uh, panel. So you can have more access to do the, remove the, how you call it, the LCD. Okay. Take out all the screws. Put them all one place. Don't mix them. Just put them all, all the screws on top of this panel, one place. Okay, when you remove them, you see the put them one side like this. And you take out the, the cover there. There's a cover there. Just remove it, slide it from inside. Okay, just push it a bit. This is the spring for the the spring for the how you call it the LCD. You just want to just push it a bit like this. Okay. Make sure you remove all the screws here. This 
screws are very small small remove them okay they put the panel close to there also like this okay remove this one also any screw you move make sure you put it close to each other so that you understand where to put them back so it's more easy for you to fix back okay. then put the panel close there okay I need to take out the screws here also. Remove this uh, black thing. There's another screw inside I need to take out also. Put them here. So you can you understand that you take the, the cover out and put it close to the screw. So it's more easy for you to take out also. More easy for you to fix back and know where you take them out. This one also. Put it here. Okay. Then you put back also the cover close to this two screw. So you know this two screw is for this cover. Okay. Now you need to take out those big big screw. You have to get the correct tools for this one also. Okay. After you remove all these screws, all this uh, connector is disconnected. Now you need to remove all the small small screw here. You need to remove them to take out the the network uh, antenna. You have to remove it. Okay. You have to get a screwdriver, the one that is open iPhone at the back down there. Take out all the small small screw here. You have to take them all out. You just put them all one side because all the screws is the same. Okay. So many many screws. See them here so many screw here six here six all small small very easy to come out just get the right screw ever to take them out okay make sure you take out all the screws don't leave any screws for this uh, antenna side because you need to remove the antenna so you can have access to uh, uh, remove the lcd connectors because the lcd connector is down there take out all the screws okay after I take out all the small small screw you need to remove those four screw here also one two three four take out them so I can remove the LCD motherboard. You just push it a bit. No need to remove it full. Just take out this four screw. This four screw also all the same. Just put them one side. Okay. iPhone, uh, sorry, MacBook have different different type of screw. So you have to make sure you get all the correct tools for it. Okay. After you open it like this. Okay. Now you need to just shake this one and see if it's shaking. The network cable is shaking a bit, right? Okay. Now you need to take out another screw here to remove the network cable and you take this other screw also. Okay. Remove this two screw here. One is for the antenna, the network uh, cable. Just remove it. It connects to the hard this screw. You can remove the network cable now. One, remove the network cable. Put the screw one side. Just disconnect the network cable. Be careful when you do it so you don't spoil the network cable, okay? If you spoil the network cable, the network will become very weak. Take out this other screw here also. Remove it so that you can ease the heat zinc a bit so that the network cable can come out from that side. Okay? So you try to ease it up. Just try to shake it. Don't force to do it, okay? Just try to shake it a bit and see that it's shaking, okay? Yes, this one also a bit shaking like this. Okay. You don't rush to do it. Take your time. Just shake, shake it up and ease it up a bit. Like this. You try to pull it. Okay. Just try to ease it up. Shake it small, small. Don't rush to do it so you don't spoil anything. Okay. Just ease it up like this. Ease it up like just shake, shake it a bit. Okay. You try to pull the cable under. Then you try to ease this uh, heat zinc a bit. Just ease it up a bit like this. Okay, you see, you ease it up a bit like this. I try to remove it from inside. Okay, you ease it up a bit, remove it from inside, just like this. Okay, you put it one side. This one also is different screw. Make sure you get the big one like this. Okay, to remove this big screw. MacBook, Apple products. All Apple products have a lot of screws, different, different type of screws. So you have to make sure you get all the correct tools for it. You don't need to mix them up. You don't need to get one screw for that. You have to get different, different type of screwdriver for this. Okay. You put them one side. Of course, it's very easy for you to know because they are big, big. It's very easy for you to know where you take it out from. Okay. But just pack them, pack them one side so it will be more easy for you to fix again. Put them one side. Okay. So after you remove all this screw, now you just try to open, do like you open the laptop from here, like you open, like you want to use it, open it a bit like this, okay? 
so that the connector with this uh, the inches will come up so you can take out the just open it open it open it okay you open it then you try to push the uh, the, 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 the keyboard side try to pull it like this just pull it like this okay you pull it after you pull it like this okay you separate the lcd and remove the lcd okay okay now it's time to fix the new lcd okay before you have access to put this uh keyboard side this side you have to open this ones open it just open it like this for open it a bit like this so this one will come inside easy for you open this one also like this just turn it like this okay then now you put it down put this one down like this okay put it down like this okay now you need to just put the connector this one just make sure the connector is up is it up like this okay you slide this one in slide it in try to slide it in like this okay try to slide it in to the the inches like this okay slide it in like that then you try to fold it with the with the inches okay make sure this one everything is up not under the the screen side they just hope try to close it when you push the the cover and you have to put also push the inches down two inches you have to also push them down like this you push them down to close it okay you just follow it with the cover so that this one will rest inside here like this okay after you make it rest properly like this okay now you need to put the screws first this big big screw put them first so you can hold the inches very good put them first the six screw three here and three the other side make sure i put them first put this side also Okay, make sure I put all the, th the six screws you take out. Also this side, make sure I put them all. Okay, after I fix this uh, inches screw, the big, big one. Okay, now you need to fix this one first, this one down here. Now the, this one, you have to fix this one first. You fold it, you see that I'm folding it. You fold it like this and you push it in. Just push it in like this, fold it and push it inside. Okay, then you replace the screw you take out there. You replace the two screw. You have to change the tube also. Try to get the right screw. Make sure you have all the tools because iPhone, sorry, uh, MacBook have different different type of screw. You have to make sure you have all the screw. Okay, after you push it in like this, then you place the screw inside. First, fix this one first here. Okay. When you pack them the same place, it's very easy for now. Where you take them out, you just replace this four screw first here. Two here, two here. Okay. Okay, then you fold this one also, you see? You just watch the old one I look like. You just push it inside there. It's easy for you to know. When you see that it's tight, you know that no, not this way. You have to loose it a bit because sometimes it's full. So you have to loose it a bit and you make sure you put it the right place how it's supposed to be. Okay, you push it inside. It's very easy to know. You just see how you just follow the shape of the thing. Okay, and you just watch. If you see that you confuse a bit, you just watch from the old one. Then you just see how they fold it, how they shape it. You just put it inside first like this. And you place the two screw also. Place this other one okay after you place this first screw now you need to fix back the network uh, antenna first okay you just make sure you pass it under here make sure you pass it inside this hole you see the hole there where you take it okay make sure you pass all the three like this it goes inside you just slide it make sure you go down there and it's this connector up a bit this uh heat zinc make sure you have to very skillful to do it okay you make sure you just try to pass the connector there 
Okay. You just have to try to pass it there. Because it came from the side. Be careful. Okay. See, just force it inside like this. Okay, you remove them from this side. You support to take it out from this side. Okay, remove them. Do it slowly. Okay, don't rush to do it. Don't force to do it. Okay, you move them like this one after the other. Okay, so you don't spot anything. You push it. If you see that, just be skillful to do it. Okay, you just try to make sure the connector pass the right place. You push it behind a bit small again. Just make any way to take out this connector from this side. It's more easy. You see. If you see that it's too tight, you push it behind a bit and you get the head of this one, like this. Okay, you get the head and you pull this head first. Try to find the other one. Okay, it's here also. You can see it. You just have to be patient to do it. Okay, you don't need to rush to do it. You're just patient. Make sure you move all the connector here. Okay, you see, you remove this one also. You exit. Just try to pass them under. Okay. Just try to control it. You have to be very, very skillful to do it. And remove this arc also. Just push it up like this. As you can see, already push. Okay. You put them back. You put it back very nice how you take it inside. You see? It's very rest. Put it very nice like this. Okay. Make sure you have to, you have to very be careful. You don't cut any connector. Okay. After you do it like that, now you need to replace the two screw here. Replace the two screw here. Put this one first here. On the other side here. Okay. iPhone, sorry, MacBook have different, different, different type of screw. Make sure you get all the correct tools for it. Okay. Replace this one. Then you put this one also here. Here also okay after you replace the two screw now you fix the connectors make sure you fix them very nice so the network will come the laptop can see wi-fi Make sure you get the right position before you press it in. Don't force the press it in. You don't spoil the connector. If you spoil the connector, this network cannot get strong Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi will not become very strong. So make sure you fix it in the right place. You have to be patient. Okay, when you hear the sound, it's already fixed properly. And don't force to press it in. If you don't get the right side to press it, so you don't spoil the connector, okay? Now you need to fix back this board. Okay. Need to fix back this board just make sure the board rests properly like this okay you replace back the screw you take out from there from here put the screw back it's four screw you need to put them back that's why you pack them different place so it's more easy for you to put you should put them back all the four screw Make sure you place them back very nice. All the four screws take out. Okay. Fix them very nice like this. Okay. After I fix this four screw very nice. Okay. Now you need to put the cover on top of this one. Before you put the cover, just bend this connector. Make sure it's lie down properly like this. Okay. Make sure you lie down this way. Okay, you put this cover on top. You see? Make sure you lie down very nice. Put the cover on top. Be careful for this connector side. Okay? Because if you spoil this connector, the LCD will have some line. Okay? So you just make sure you use your hand and very be careful. Make sure you just push it a bit. Have, okay? Then you replace the two screw. You take out from there. That's why you need to get all the correct tools because I, I MacBook have different, different, different type of screws. Okay, see, push it a bit, push the connector a bit. Don't use a uh, pencil to do it, use your hand so you don't spoil anything. Okay, you replace the other screw here also.
okay so you can actually connect or push inside the date so that when the macbook is open the connector will not like strain to open so you don't spoil the connector okay you should do the same to also this side okay after i fix the two very nice okay now you need to fix this connector make sure you get the right position to this side before you press it don't force to press it in so you don't spoil because this is the main important one if you spoil this one the uh, macbook will not display okay make sure you get the right position very nice you feel your hand you know that this one is the right position that you press in okay press it very nice don't force it just make sure you do it's rest the right position and press it in this one when you fix it you don't have no sound but don't worry just make sure you fix it very nice like this okay when you fix very nice you see that the connector is light and it's not coming up okay then you put back the cover top it very nice you place back the screws you take out from there two screw that's why it's good to put the screws different places so that you don't get confused just put them on top the thing you take them so you know that this screws is for this one it's very easy for you to fix back don't put all the screw one places it's not good because there are different different screws and different place to put them okay screw this one very nice okay then you put this cover also on top here Okay. Then you place the two screws there also. You see this one screw is different, it's long, it's not short. That's why it's good to put them different places so you don't get confused where you take the screw from. You have to be very skillful to do these kind of things. Very skillful to do it. Okay. replace the other screw okay after you replace the screw very nice now you need to put all the screws here so many many screws here to to fix the to all the antenna the network properly properly okay you have to get the right screwdriver also this screwdriver is the one that opened the iphone the two screws at the iphone is the same with this screw so you have to replace all the screw yeah small 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 screw you see them very tiny screw make sure you place all of them this side don't leave any screw okay make sure you place all this side and this side it's the same screw that's why you just pack them one side it's the same screw very small small screw very easy to fix because it's not too long very short and tiny see where i'm putting them on the screwdriver so make sure you replace them all here okay I replace all the small small screws okay now you need to put this cover back put them back here just put them on top you, you can see the screw hole is not there okay because it's like a bit different different company normally it's supposed to have a screw hole here just like this one you see the two screw hole here to hold this one okay the screw hole is not there so you, just, you can just put it there if you have a glue you can just put a bit glue just to close that side okay if you have a glue because it's not the same company okay you just put a bit glue here on top of this side just to cover to rest because it's different companies okay because you need to put them put them inside back also you understand like this just to put it there like this and this one also you put a bit of glue here on top here don't put too much glue this one is very easy it's for this kind of things okay you just put them there because the LCD is for two different companies not the same company okay just do it like this okay it's very it's done just put them with a the small glue like that okay after you finish fix everything okay now you need to fix the battery the battery is the last one you need to fix after you finish fix everything make sure you check everything is rest properly okay now you need to fix the battery you take the one big screw yeah and put this one first make sure you put it you see just put it there this is just a, a connector one big connector okay you just put the screw there make sure you put the screw very nice very be careful because the voltage is around this side okay you replace the screw very nice tight properly make sure it's very straight then now you fix this connector inside there this one helps the battery to get charged if you don't fix this one properly the battery will not charge and when you on the laptop the laptop fan will make serious noise because this side is not fixed properly so you have to make sure you fix this one very very nice this connector you have to go inside there very well 
Make sure you go inside very well like this. Push it very well. Okay. Then you close this one. Close this very nice. Make sure it fixed properly. If this one is not fixed properly, when you on the laptop, the laptop will make very, very noise because of the fan will go loudly like that. Okay. After you finish, then you put this one also. You close it exactly like you take it. Okay. Now you need to put back the back cover. The back cover back, when you put it, you have to make sure you slide it in from this side slide it in from down here you just push it like this put make sure you put it very straight very straight like this okay then you slide it inside mm -hmm. then also this side also you push very straight they slide it in like this okay then you put it down then make sure you fix the clip you hear the sound the clip at the air yeah, just fix them very nice inside okay now you need to replace all the screw you take out back from back of the laptop Okay, the screw is very easy to know where you take them because the front screw is very very small it's the small size the back one is uh long so make sure you put the the short shots on the front here you make sure you place all the screw sometimes the screw is very very like no magnet so you have to hold it on and put it inside you make sure you place all the screw you take out don't leave any screw make sure you place all the screw okay after you close the laptop very nice now you on the laptop just press the power here on it when you on it you wait a few minutes laptop will on okay if you don't on you just have to connect it on charge then the laptop will on maybe the battery is low already on my own the laptop is on you can see the apple logo already showing from here that means the LCD is okay, it's fixing very nice, and the close laptop can close and open very nice. Everything is okay. That means it's okay. Hello guys, if you like my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.